So today is the last day of our competing before the before the teams have decided for the final. We chose to go for two, uh, three dexterity uh, courses, which was parallel pipes, omnidirectional pipes, which basically challenges to uh, manipulate your arm in such a way in your cameras that you can read letters and rotate uh, bits of tubing and pull uh, bits of tubing out of another one to sort of demonstrate how you know versatile your robot is in a way. And then we went on to we're going to look to the door opening which is another key thing which is uh, also carried on uh, carried out by the robots at home uh, courses after the door opening challenge we were looking to try and do um, some maneuvering mobility challenges in the afternoon just in case we had any issues on the robot we didn't want to do them in the morning so we moved on to dexterity challenges and essentially had an arm that you know couldn't function fully so upon trying to complete the parallel pipes challenge we were doing really well, we had uh, got multiplier points at the start for thermal imaging and CO2 and uh, the cameras and then we moved on to try and actually inspect some of the pipes that had letters in the bottom of them so we had to manipulate the head to get to the particular angle so we could read it, uh, so we could see the letter. Um, unfortunately our main track uh, drive pulley chain actually snapped so then we had to uh, stop and uh, basically can the course at that point and it was it's hard to go any further in the, with the robot as it was since we only had one side of drive. Um, upon trying to fix this, we found it was taking a lot longer than we thought, so we had to miss the next challenge, which was the omnidirectional pipes, um, which was unfortunate. But we just had to, you know, take it on the chin and just try and get uh, get ready for the, the following competitions in the day. So moving on to door opening, unfortunately we had some issues before door opening. We actually fashioned a, a hook into the gripper to try and because we didn't have any rotation on the gripper to be able to clamp the door handle and open it. So we came up with an idea, we were allowed to use tools as such to open the door, so we thought we'd have a hook uh, electrical taped into the gripper, see if we can then lower the head and open the door that way. And upon getting to the, we were, we were late to the start because we had some issues with the uh, ESCs and the motors and the arm too. And upon getting to the, uh, to the start of the competition, we just found we, the issues just couldn't be resolved before we could realistically start the competition so we just had to we had to forfeit that one as well unfortunately and uh, we had some further issues in the afternoon with ESCs, uh, chains um, so we've had, we had a lot of problems today and we've had to forfeit quite a few courses but it's we've learned a lot from it um, and we're just gonna have to you know put it redesign some components that we think you know, may need to be stronger or larger or just to help us out potentially in the future. Later on today we're looking to qualify for the small robot uh, competition which is built into the RoboCup Rescue. So this is for robots that are able to fit through a, a 600mm square and be lowered down onto a course and then be able to be driven after. So that's the, that's the proving test for that. Uh, so we're looking to give that a go later on with our robot and uh, strap some rope to it in a, in a way we can quickly untie it and prove it can still be driven afterwards so we can enter the, um, that particular area of the competition.